Now to an NBC News exclusive, former Vice President Al Gore marking a milestone for his Oscar-winning documentary and weighing in on the presidential race as well. NBC's Ann Thompson is here in studio with that. Ann, good to see you. Good morning. Can you believe it's been 10 years yes. since An Inconvenient Truth debuted? And there's been a lot of progress in the fight against climate change. In Paris, the world agreed to reduce carbon emissions. Coal use is down in the United States, and solar panels are going up in record numbers. But there is a new threat, and it comes from the presumptive GOP nominee, just one of several topics I discussed with the former vice president. So what do you think of the tone of the presidential campaign so far? <laughs> well, I, I'm uh, one of millions who sometimes just, uh, I, I do a double take, whoa, what was that? <laughs> who believes in global warming? Raise your hand. It's been unusual. Nobody? Do you see a Trump presidency undoing all the progress that the U.S. has made in the last 10 years in the fight against climate change? He has said some things on the climate crisis that I think should concern everyone. I'm not Pollyannish about it, but I do think that there is still some basis for hope. This is a man who's called climate change a hoax and other words that we cannot use on network TV. And a Chinese and, plot. Right. Yeah. So where's the hope? President Carter said that he, he hopes he'll be malleable. <laughs> I don't know. Climate change, Gore insists, cuts across party lines. I'm proud to have some Tea Party allies, what's being called the Green Tea Party. Gore praises both Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton for addressing climate change. <laughs> But Bill Clinton's vice president is not yet picking sides. Has either Democrat sought your endorsement yet? I've gotten uh, signals that you could easily interpret that way. Yes, the earth is so big. And that's because an inconvenient truth made Al Gore an unexpected movie star. As somebody said, uh, Al Gore giving a slideshow, what doesn't grab you about that? <laughs> the different isotopes of oxygen. One reviewer called it nerd porn. Using charts and graphs, Gore made the connection between increasing carbon emissions and our changing climate for millions of moviegoers in 2006. It's connected to our economy. It's connected to our national security. It's connected to the refugee crisis. It's connected to health. A horrible, unprecedented... The movie didn't get everything right. Ten years later, there's still snow on Mount Kilimanjaro. And a warming ocean has not spawned a major hurricane that's hit the U.S., as his critics gleefully point out. Why do you think you're a lightning rod? It's not unusual to see attacks on a messenger by people who don't like the message. I don't own a private plane. My house runs on 100% renewable uh, energy. I do walk the walk. His efforts won Gore the Nobel Peace Prize and the little gold statue for the movie. Where's the Oscar? Actually, the Oscar belongs to Davis Guggenheim, the director of the movie, but I like to say I have visiting rights to the Oscar. <laughs> Tomorrow on the 10th anniversary, Paramount will offer down, free downloads of the film on Amazon Video, Xfinity On Demand, iTunes, and other major digital retailers. And did Gore give you any impression who he might back in this race between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton? He said he's been a lifelong Democrat. He will back the Democratic nominee. All right. Very interesting interview, Ann. Thank you very much. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.